stranger in my own home. Hmm, interesting. Can you give me an example? I don't know, I just do so much. And when he decides to finally grace me with his presence, he still feels so far away. It's always the blame game. I don't care about who is right or wrong. I would just like for him to say every now and then, I'm sorry, or I love you. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> quite honestly, issues like these are very normal. Oh, I don't think you'll find anything normal about us, Doctor. <laughs> 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 uh, right, um, let's back up a bit. Describe your day-to-day -day relationship. Are you familiar with the term partners in crime? Well, Mr. J says we're partners, but he doesn't treat me like one. How so? Who has to take out the corpses every week? Me. Who has to clean the brains out of the carpet? Me. And who gets the punchline every single time? Moi. Exactly. I, I think what Miss Quinn is saying here is that she's committed to your relationship and, and, and needs a little reassurance that you are as well. Bingo, Doc! He needs to treat his Quinn like a queen. I have no problem with commitment. <laughs> every anniversary, every birthday, every Halloween, I open my present expecting a shiny ringy poo. And what do I get? A hand grenade launcher, an exploding carnival mallet. I thought you loved my gifts. And Putin, I do, but... All the jewelry so high, so for all the years, and never once did he come home and say, Harl, this rocks for you. Perhaps we should explore this with a simple exercise. A game? <gasps> Ooh, we like us a good game, don't we, Harl? Sure do, Putin. This is called the trust fall. Now, if you could both stand. This exercise is designed to teach reliance on each other, how to commit more fully to a relationship. Now, Miss Quinn, I'd like you to turn your back, close your eyes, and let yourself fall backwards. And as you do, I'd like you to say a loving sentiment about the Joker. <laughs> oh, let it go, Boo. I've got you. My pudding is the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> 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 Why did you let her fall? But elementary, dear Watson, you yourself called this the trust fall. If I allow Harley to plunge, I have to trust in myself and her that she'll pick herself up again. It's like a daddy teaching a little girl how to ride a bike for the first time. These are Harley's formative years, thus I am molding her much the same way that Batsy molded ah! You see, it's, it's always about him. You interrupted me. She interrupted me. That's rude and vulgar. It's always about him. Um, who? Here we go. Him! The bad fart, bad mortal, guano man, the dark knight, Batman. She exaggerates. Um, how about we move on to another exer game? Word association. Just tell me the first word that pops into your minds. For example, um, I say egg, and you might say... Kill Robin. Baby birds. Good. Nest. Kill Batman. Nursery. Love. Oh, a happy family. Kill Batgirl. Oh, uh, you see, he's obsessed. What? I said kill Batgirl. She's part of Batman's family. Doc, do you see what I mean? He is keeping us from having a family of our own. But we have two wonderful babies, Bud and Lou. You have children? Yeah, they're just a hyenas. But he doesn't see that creating a life can be just as fun as taking one. Listen to this. Last night, I invited him to come rev up his holly. It was like... Fifty shades of green, purple, and red, I say. And Mr. J finally starts giving it to me, and he grabs my throat, and he pulls my hair. Oh. Oh. That sounds abusive. Oh, no. When he abuses me, he just slaps me or throws me off the roof. This was real love. Gospel. Then, 
just as he's about to throw ecstasy and cash into the wind, he yells out. What did you say? I said, I'm coming for you, Batman. <laughs> oh, it was a joke. It's a gag. I mean, who wants to see? Why not a smile? Homoerotic. It's homoerotic, I tell ya. Just kill the Crypt Crusader and Boy Blunder already. Uh, Miss Quinn does pose an interesting question. Why haven't you just killed Batman? Because we complete each other. Good needs evil, Yin needs Yang, Siegfried needs Roy. Maybe not that last one. The doctor looks a little confused. A little help, Pooh, please. Actually, the Joker wants Batman to kill him, to prove a point that society is basically more chaotic than orderly. In fact, the real conflict here is not to see if Batman will stop him, but to watch Batman struggle with not killing him. This self-control is Batman's superpower. And in turn is a struggle for the two of us to progress. She killed for that degree. Literally. <laughs> Role play anyone? You know, act out a typical day. Joker, you're Harley, Harley Joker. Mr. J, it's a it's our anniversary. Let's do something special. Oh, poo. I'm poisoning the Gotham River. <laughs> I, I don't laugh like that. Seriously, I don't. But Mama's uterus is aching for you. Put the Robin costume on. I told you, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Maybe then we could go to the park with Bud and Lou. Maybe they'll get their first human kill. <laughs> That happened last week. What? What? Why didn't you tell me? Well, you've been too busy with the bats to care. You're right. I have been missing out. <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been sending you mixed messages. I mean, without a doubt, you are my world, and I want a real relationship with you. Shazam. I love you too, Mr. J. <sighs> Great work, and time's up. <laughs> really? We was having a moment here. You said if I could solve your issues in a session, you would let me live. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, Harley's a certified nut job wanted by law enforcement in two dozen states, madly in love with a psychotic, murderous, yet endearing clown. <laughs> we clearly have issues. <laughs> Please, I have a family. Oh. Hmm. Well, family does come first. Uh -huh. Harley, my sciatica. Whatever you say, Puddin' Pa. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good day, Doctor. Oh, one thing we neglected to mention. Now that we've let you go, you're... I'm <laughs> Let me have the punchline. Mm. Oh. Nobody rides my Harley but me.
I'm crazy for you Like somebody saved me for you You might be madder than a hatter But that doesn't really matter Cause baby, I'm crazy for you I was a lonely loony tune Or just a cuckoo bird or crooner Yeah, my life was really a crime I couldn't find a single hero All my hustles came to zero Now we're just like Bonnie and Clyde Yeah, we're just like Bonnie and Clyde Baby, I'm crazy for you I push up some daisies for you You put the sun up in my solar The bite into my polar Only, Only you can, can make me holler So baby, I'm crazy for you.